today's class i am going to explain maplex so far we have seen in uh, power sector designer tool different tools eh? source analyzer project designer transformation developer mapping designer so apart from that you have one more tool that is maplet designer so in maplet designer we can create maplets what is a maplet a maplet is nothing but group of transformations we can build a particular business logic maplet is nothing but group of transformations those transformations is going to accomplish one business logic you can use the same maplet in n number of maplets so if there is a business logic in order to implement that business logic you require multiple transformations in such cases you need to go for maplet designer tool you can create a maplet and you can use that maplet in n number of maplets in future if there are any changes you need to change it to only one place under maplet you need not touch all your maplet if there is no concept of maplet then again you need to stretch all the mappings i will show you how to create maplets and types of maplets and uh, different types of restrictions while creating maplets so first of all i am connecting to I'm connecting to source. Select stand to. Then you can see list of tables under this user. Select stand to. EMP underscore D. So this is my source. My requirement is like this. I want to calculate tax. For each and every employee, and also I want to calculate department name. The employee belongs to which department name? So here two things. One is tax, another one is D name. How we can calculate tax using expression transformation? How we can get a department name by using a lookup? Why? Because my DEPT table information is available in DEPT table. Select. So here my DPT table is available. So here two things. One is tax, another one is DNA. So here I am going to create a maplet. So first of all I am connecting to target. Create table. Table name. Two additional columns, one is tax, another one is department. Already table exists. One given. EMP tax D name one. So table created. My source is EMP DPT and my target is EMP underscore tax underscore D name. So first of all, I am connecting to Informatica to our center design. Click on repository. Enter the user ID and password. Now double click on your folder. So 
select maplet designer tool. So far we have seen all these tools, source analyzer, target designer, transformation developer, and maplet designer. So select maplet designer to create a maplet. From the menu bar, select maplets, select on whatever the name you want, you can use. But informatica recommended standard is it should start with MPL underscore tax underscore email. So in the navigation bar also you can see under maplets folder your maplet name is mplt underscore tax underscore dv so here in order to combine multiple transformations logic you need to define two transformations one is maplet input another one is maplet output that is the first step while creating a maplet from the menu bar select transformation click on create so here you need to select so here you need to select maplet out. So in between these two, you can create n number of transformations you can build your reusable business logic by using a number of transformations see uh, what is the use of maplet here we are sending uh, two inputs and we are producing two outputs what are those tax and dinner in order to calculate tax we need a salary as input in order to calculate d name we need a d number as input so here in the input Double click, go to post tab, create two posts. What are the inputs required? Salary and D number. Right. Any questions so far? Now create expression here from the menu bar, select transformation, click on expression is used to calculate tax. So here, take salary, doesn't take the number. Now in the expression, you can calculate tax. Double click on this. Go to post. Create on output board. So here I can enter the idea of input to this one. That is the underscore of tax. Disable the input board and only expression enables. You can produce output. Remove the existing bit. Go to post tab. Apply the formula. I am assuming 2% of tax. Click on OK. Click on OK. So you can collect tax to output. Similarly, we need to calculate department name. Now I am going to create a lookup. Any questions so far? the menu bar select transformation click on so here you need to select enter the name whatever the name you want you can do but in format recommend is standard is you should start with calculate the concrete then it opens a dialog box so where your lookup is available my lookup is available under source so select here Now 
connect d number from expression to lookup already d number is there automatically it will take d number one so give the condition on the lookup d number equal to like now connect d name from lookup any questions Okay, not like repository. See, there are two types of maplets: active maplets and passive maplets. This is a passive maplet. So, how do we say this is a passive maplet? If all the transformations in a maplet are passive, then we call it as passive maplet. If at least one transformation in a maplet is active, then you call it as active maplet. So here, this is a passive maplet. So in interviews also they ask question what is a maplet, what are different types of maplets, what are different types of restrictions while creating maplets. So here in a maplet you cannot use normalizer transformation, you cannot use cobalt sources, you cannot use XML targets, you cannot use one maplet within another maplet, testing of maplets also not allowed. You can see all those restrictions, go to help, context. So we are just a type of maplet. Click on see here. Use the following rules and guidelines when you add transformations to a maplet. So, see here if you want to use sequence generated transformation, that should be reusable. That means first you need to create another transformation developer tool, sequence generator, then you can see. That sequence generator transformation under the navigation bar under transformations folder from that you can drag into the maplet you cannot directly create sequence generator within a maplet if you want to use stored procedure it is normal so you cannot include following objects in a maplet normalizer transformations cobalt sources xml source qualifier transformations xml sources target definitions and other maplets other maplets means one maplet within another maplet Central point of view, they will ask what are different types of restrictions you are creating. Any questions? Uh, Venkat, hmm. yeah, tell me. Uh, I have question like go to the map plate, please. Okay, so in map plate, we don't have to mention source and target. Only transformations. Correct. So in the mapping we are going to use. In the mapping only we specify sources and targets. Okay. So here uh, this is not completed. So what we are doing is we are going to use this maplet within okay. a mapping. So now I am going to create my first step creation of mapping. In order to create a mapping, we need to verify whether our source and targets are ready or not. My source is EMP DPT and my target is EMP underscore tax underscore DM1. Check source. Source is available EMP DPT. What about target? EMP tax DNAME is there. Tax DNAME1 is not there. I am going to import my target. Using target is Targets. Enter the password. So here. Repository. Now my source and targets are ready. I can create a mapping using mapping design update. Select mapping design update. From the menu bar, select maplets, click on create option. Enter the mapping name. M underscore maplet underscore check one. Select your source. Drag it under that space. Similarly, your target. Similarly, maplet also. So the navigation bar is maplet.
so within a single mapping you can use n number of maplets there is no restriction so if you observe the maplet you can see maplet is ready to take two inputs you can see my mouse cursor small small triangle symbols salary and dealer but ready to provide two outputs tax and dealer. Now connect salary and D number from source calibre to market. And to tax and D number. So remaining ports you can directly connect employee number, name, salary, D number. Any questions so far? So if you want to check the logic of a maplet, right click, there is option open maplet. Just right click on the maplet click on open map then automatically it will move to the maplet designer tool so suppose if you want to see the maplet logic within the mapping so select go to mappings list there is a expand bar and expand there is option if you want to see maplet logic within the mapping then it will show list of maplets in this mapping only one maplet if multiple maplets are there you can select you can see all the maplets select all maplets for expansion otherwise if you have five maplets you want to expand only one or two select those things or you can select all another click on see here the maplet itself expanded within the mapping you can see arrange all iconic mode also so, see so but this is in gray color If you want to go to the previous state, then in Mapics, Expand, Like this, you can uh, use the Maplet under Maplet Designer tool or So here you can use the same Maplet in n number of Maplets. In future, if there are any changes to the uh, business loss, example, salary 2% to 3% increased, then change only in the Maplet. You need not touch all the Maplets. Any questions so far? So my second step is creation of session. So tools. Select task mode. from the menu bar, select tasks, click up, enter the session. This one is for the time and the map link check out. Click on free. The session creation process is same for every method. Select your record method. Click on OK. As usual, you need to give relational corrections. Go to mapping tab. For source, use source relational connection. Select lookup. For lookup also you need to do lookup connection. Nothing but source connection.
any questions so far? Now my first two steps are completed. Creation of mapping, creation of session. Third step is creation of workflow or use the existing workflow. Select workflow. I'm going to change. Select your app session. Done. Select your session. Start session. See here, five rows read from source, those five rows not into the chart. Now check in the database also. Select start for. Just set the line. and the name is calculated for each and every one. Now suppose I want to increment tax by 10% instead of 2%. Now you need to just change in a map left. Any question so far? So now what I am going to do is here change the map left. Just go to Maplet Designer to You need not touch the map. Tell me into Apply. Save it. Repository. That's it. Directly you can read out the session. Go to Workflow Monitor. Select our session. Right click, three option, restart test. See, five rows red, five rows red. Now check in the details. See, earlier the rows, these are new rows. 200, 300, 400, 500, 300. Tax collected. Any questions on maplets? Here you can see versioning concept. Versioning means see, but it all the versioning concept also depends on company project to project. So how do you know in your uh, company or project versioning is available in the tool or not. See by default you will see the tick mark. So for sources or targets, if you see tick marks, then you can say there is versioning concept available. See for this one separate license required. All companies not by the versioning concept, some companies by only versioning concept. Informatica versioning. So here What is versioning here? There are two options checkout and check in. So by default, checkout. When you design new things, everything is checkout. Once you finalize, this is the final version kind of thing, then you can do check in. Right click, versioning, check in. So initial version. So in check-in state, you cannot do anything. So this mapping is checked. You can't modify anything in check-in state. So all are in disabled state. If you want to do something, again, you need to check out. Check out the mapping and do the changes. Right click, versioning, check. -in. So in a team-based environment, so some other people also working, they have other folders. If you want to view, 
their mappings they have to check in then only you can see if they don't check in if they place only check out mode you cannot see so and also if you want to modify again you need to check out right click version check out for modifications so this is check out again whatever the changes you want you can do so after again you check in it will create another version second version so like this you can see multiple versions suppose after some time you want to go to previous state you can go also so generally suppose here you change the m to m n and again check so what you can do is close it again so now you can see two versions right click version you list two two versions exist suppose you want to compare what are the changes between these two you can compare also so i will show you how to compare between the versions let's like try version a compare with previous version see it will open this is version 1 mapping this is version 2 mapping so go to mapping so the instances any changes are there see expression change red color it is shown Click on double click on that. Go to transformations. So here, go to ports. See, you can see here O U P D is here in version in this version. See here, you can see here. So in this way, it will highlight. So in each and every transformation, what are the differences? You can see. Under properties, any differences between see this transformation we are looking here speech. What is the general tab? So this is version one, this is version two. What is the transformation tab? No changes. Under ports tab only you can see the changes. For expression properties, no changes. Metadata expressions, no changes. Close. Like this, you can check each and everything. Photo or object. You can compare one. with another so when you check in a mapping only it will check in mapping you need to check in sources and targets also suppose you want to check out all the things go to versioning there is one option find checkouts see here current user only all users all folders only current folder okay. click on it so then you can see list of all the things in your folder select all the things here icon is there select check in option that will it will check in all at a time the best option is find checkouts and uh, why because within a mapping you can see sources and targets also you need to check in all so instead of going for one by one find checkouts select required things and uh, check in one more thing here suppose two versions created a versioning we have done a main check out for another change we have done some changes in this now these changes you don't want you save so the changes are there you don't want these changes you want to go to previous version previous checked in version what you need to do is undo checkout right click versioning undo checkout that means you go to the previous checked in version yes see go to the previous checked in version any questions so far 
హాయ్ వెంకట్ సో యూజువలీ ఆఫ్టర్ డెవలపింగ్ దిస్ మ్యాపింగ్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ డూ వి నీడ్ టు గో ఇన్ టు సివిఎస్ సివిఎస్ మీన్స్ సి సమ్ కంపెనీస్ హావ్ సెపరేట్ సివిఎస్ టూల్స్ సో ద ఇన్ఫర్మాటిక్ ఐ ఇట్సెల్ఫ్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ వర్షనింగ్ సిస్టమ్ హియర్ so if you don't have in your project versioning system some people what they will do is they will export as form of xml and they will put in versioning system separate tools okay so usually for promotions uh, do we need to check the code into cvs or yes see one uh, suppose you have uh, check out check in options available in your informatica so what okay. you need to do is first uh, you need to check in and then you need to move to next uh, other environments qa or uat or prop okay so if we click check in that means the code is freezed yes freeze and then that, that goes to the promotion yeah that goes to the promotion also or if you okay. want see uh, in a team you are working with five members you have got one mm-hmm. mapping and the plan date is uh, 15th uh, job so you okay. completed a 10th excel so you have five days so you have checked in on 10th excel maybe after some days some enhancement came or mm-hmm. qa defect found some test of found it. then you need to check out and check in again before moving the code okay. to qa so any any number of times you can do it. that means that every time you check in compulsory need to promotion not required okay. that is our choice okay okay so once you finalize this is my business logic i'm okay with that checking or some okay. other people want to review your code checking then only they can see sometimes peer okay. review happens in real time so your mappings is going to review by other person other ma- other people mappings review by you yeah so in such case so if we hmm. in check in mode only then others can view our uh, correct code change so okay otherwise they yeah. have to log in with your user generally we don't give right, right? our user id is password to others yeah yeah our username and password here yeah. so okay. the best of me check in the code okay then they can view so go to find the checkouts and check in uh, all the things whatever corresponding mapping sessions workflows everything so if okay. you check in uh, one thing and if you don't check in other thing they can add it they can see in all the parts suppose okay. if you don't so, uh, yeah. yeah so once like uh, you you are assigned with some task and you have created the source uh, targets and mappings and everything mm-hmm. and then once they say that okay you are uh, now you have to promote your uh, code whatever your task yeah. you have developed so we have to check in the so- source tables and then target everything. and then mappings everything at a time you can select everything okay so you need not do one by one every time you can select all the things whatever you want to do okay 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 uh, any questions hari kira no 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 wish okay. in the next class uh, i will uh, explain different types of tasks so here in designer we have covered all the tools so here we have different types of tasks apart from session we can create command email event wait control decision and how to work with worklets so in the next class i will explain this okay tomorrow we meet at the same time okay can you send me yeah, uh, can one of you send me the recording because i was not able to do it yeah yeah i will send okay i rank it yeah tell me so i say bye okay bye thanks